Welcome to Online Math for All. In this video, we are going to see how to find square root of a number using long division. Here, we have a number inside the square root that is 1 on 4976. I want to find square root of this number using long division. So, I write this number inside the long division here. Okay, so, in finding square root of a number using long division, the first step is we have to separate the digits of the given number as pairs from right to left. So, I start from the right side of the given number, we have 76 is the first pair and the second pair is 49. In this way, I get 10 here on the left side. Okay, now, I separate the digits using commas as pairs. So, first pair 76, the second pair, the second pair 49. So, at last on the left side, I get 10. Okay, now, what I need to do is, I have to multiply a number by itself, the result has to be equal to 10 or less than 10. So, we can try like this 1 multiplied by 1 is equal to 1 which is less than 10. So, the product has to be equal to 10 or less than 10, it should not be greater than 10 and we can also try 2 times 2 is equal to 4 which is also less than 10 and we can try 3 times 3 which is equal to 9 which is also less than 10. We can try 4 times 4 which is 12, but this is not less than 10, this is greater than 10. So, we cannot try 4 times 4. So, we have to consider uh, the first uh, product 1 times 1 or 2 times 2 or 3 times 3. So, in these 3 products, in all these 3 products, the result is less than 10. Okay. Which one has to be chosen? Because in all these 3 products, the result is less than 10. We have to choose the one where we have the maximum value. So, that is 3 times 3, 9. So, we have to consider this pair. So, 3 times 3, when you multiply 3 by itself, which is 9 and also it is less than 10. So, we have to put 1 3 here, we have to put the another 3 here. Now, you multiply 3 and 3, it is 9. Now, you subtract this 9 from this 10, you get 1. Okay, so, now what we need to do is, we have to multiply the number at the question part by 2, then you get 6, that has to be written here. Okay, so, once uh, you multiply this number by 2 and you write the result here, what you need to do is, you have to bring down the next pair of numbers. So, please remember, you should not bring just one number, always we have to bring pairs. So, the next pair is 49, you have to bring this 49 down, then it will become 149. Okay, now what I need to do is, I am putting a question mark here and here. Okay, at the place of question mark, I have to take the, I have uh, two question marks now in red color. At the place of question mark, I have to take the same number, I mean here and here. So, after taking the same number here, I have to multiply the number here by this two digit number, it has to be equal to 149 or less than 149, so that you have to take a number at the place of question mark. For example, I am taking 3 at the place of question mark here. Now, you have to multiply this 3 by this 63, 3 times 63 will be 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 80, uh, 3 times 6 is 18. So, when you multiply 63 by 3, you get 189, which is greater than this number 149. So, we should not take 3. So, what we have to do is, so the next option we have is, if you go to 4, again you will be getting a larger number. So, we can consider 2 here. So, if you take 2 here, here also you have to take 2. After taking the same number here and here, you have to multiply this 2 digit number by the number what you have taken here. So, 2 times 62 is 124 because 62 times 2 will be 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 6 is 12, 124. So, we have to subtract this 124 from this 149. So, when you do it, so 4, 4 go, I mean when you subtract 4 from 9, it will be 5, when you subtract 2 from 4, it will be just 2. Okay, now, what we need to do is, uh, we have to multiply the number 32 by 2, then it will be 64, that 64 should be written here. Okay, the next step, what we need to do is, we have to bring the next pair down. So, when you bring this next pair down, it will be 76. Okay, now, as I told you already, you have to take, I just put a question mark here and here, you have to take the same number at the place here, at the place here. Okay, so, after that, you have to multiply the number here by this 3 digit number, it has to be equal to 2576 or less than 2576, but here the thing is different, we have no more digit at the top to bring down. So, whatever number, I mean 
you can take a number here, you can take a number here, so the same number and then you have to multiply this single digit number by this 3 digit number, it must be equal to 2576, the reason is here we have no more digits to bring down. So that is why I am saying when you multiply the single digit number at the top by this 3 digit number, this time it must be equal to 2576, so that you have to find a number. Okay, here the ones, I mean the digit in ones place in 2576 is just 6. So, accordingly you have to select the number here. So, I select 6 here and here. So, because when I multiply 6 times 6 will be 36, uh, so I get 6 in ones place. It is just a trial and error, I am not sure whether uh, the addition what I have taken is correct or wrong. In case if it does not uh, work, I have to try some other numbers. Uh, I mean their number multiplied by itself uh, gives a product with 6 in ones place. Okay, anyways, let us try for this one. Now, we need to multiply this 6 and this 3 digit number 646. Okay, let us multiply uh, 646 times 6. I think uh, it will not work because even uh, 6 times 6 is 36, it will be 3600. The answer will be 3600 3, something. So, I think the 6 I have taken here and here will not work. So, better we can try some other number a number multiplied by itself must give you the result with 6 at one's place because we have 6 here in one's place. So, I think we can try 4. So, because 4 times 4 is 16 and we have 6 in one's place. So, now we have to multiply this 3 digit number 644 by this 4. Okay, we can multiply. So, when you multiply 644 by 4, six, 4 times 4 is 16 carry over 1 again 4 times 4 is 16, 16 plus 1 17, carry over 1, 4 times 6 is 24, 24 plus 1 25. So, we get exactly 2576. So, when I multiply this 644 by 4, I get 2576. Now, subtract this 2576 from this 2576, we get result 0. So, look at here, we do not have any more digits at the top, we have bring down all the digits in the given number and, and at last we get 0. So, when you get a 0 at last, we can decide the given number that is uh, 1 on 4,976 is a perfect square. In case we do not have uh, any more digits at the top to bring down, but you do not get 0 at last, you get some reminder, then we have to decide the given number is not a perfect square, but this time here we do not have any more digits to bring down and also at last we got 0. So, we can decide that the given number is a perfect square and square root of this number is equal to 324 which is here. I think uh, everyone can understand this uh, square root by long division. So, if you like this video, please subscribe our channel. Thank you all.